catch them all All right guys, so today I'm taking a look at a hidden camera. It is 1080p, does 30 frames per second, and it looks like a cologne bottle. So it has, of course, these pieces that need to be peeled off. So that's what it looks like. If you remove the top, you will damage the unit. So I think it would have been cool if they could have made it where it had like liquid in it so you could see the liquid moving so it looked more realistic, but they didn't. But it kind of looks like if this was sitting by itself, it may look a little suspicious, but if this was sitting on a counter um, in a bathroom or somewhere where there's other bottles, colognes and different things, um, probably be fine, probably be kind of uh, unnoticed, go unnoticed. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the little cameras in that area. So it does not come with an SD card, so you have to provide your own. And my phone is tripping out because I'm moving this camera around and it's notifying me. But uh, it does have motion detection. It has a 4,000 milliamp battery, so you basically just charge it overnight once. And it's supposed to work for six months. I haven't owned it for six months. I can't say it's gonna last that long. And I guess it depends on how much motion goes on but that's a pretty considerable amount of time so that's pretty cool and 1080p video is very cool uh, as far as you know what it looks like you're gonna have good video you're gonna get motion detection alerts I keep getting them popping up on my phone right now because I'm moving the camera around so on the bottom you have your reset your micro USB charging port you have your on and off and you have the micro SD card slot, your micro USB for charging. The two silver portions you see, those are actually uh, for the magnetic uh, base. And I left it open so that just kind of you know, goes like this. So it kind of seals everything up. But I left it off so it'd be easier to show you. So just a little magnetic type closure. And it comes with this little piece here that warns you about not opening. You want to make sure of course and take that off and it comes with a nice little instruction book. Very good manual, very easy to use. And you'd use an app called Ubell, which works fine uh, as far as setting up. It's very simple and very easy. Comes with a micro USB cable. You could use your own if you wanted to, I suppose. And comes with a little, basically like a SIM tool. It's attached to this little piece of paper here. And that is so that you can press the reset button. Um, so that's what that looks like when it's first arriving. And then you have a charity type card. So they'll donate $1 uh, to UNICEF if you leave a review. So that's pretty cool that they have that. And this is a thank you slash support card. So thank you for your purchase. Send us an email and contact us if you need support. And then they give you a VIP card, which is used to get your benefits um, which I think they'll actually send you a free SD card on, at least that's what they've done on some of them. I haven't read this particular VIP card, but uh, you get some VIP benefits by registering with them. So 8 to 64 gigs is the micro SD card support that this thing has, and you have night vision, and you have, as I said before, six months of usage with the motion detection. Now, audio is not enabled by default, because of different rules and everything but there is some information I can provide a link below the video if you want to find out how to enable that but it's very simple you just drop some files on the SD card hold down the reset turn it on give it a few seconds and let it update so this one should have audio so I'm just gonna set this down have it point across the office that we're sitting in right now and I'm gonna pull the camera a little closer I'm gonna show you
the actual app. So there is the app, the Ubell app. And if I click, if I click you can hear the audio, it's gonna echo. So, let me see if I can mute that. I don't have the best vision, so you have to forgive me. But, anyway, this is gonna echo. It's just gonna have to echo, this is the way it is. Um, let me see. So you can see the video. It actually looks really clear. Very sharp image, and of course, you can kind of move around a little bit on the image. Zoom in and zoom out. So I'm not gonna go through the whole app, but there's a microphone button here. If I click on that, a snapshot button, and then I believe you can actually do the record here. So you can see some of the different captured video. I just want to stop looking at the actual video. So I just wanted to show you really quickly, and unfortunately, I just wanted to show you this way so you can see it in real time, uh, rather than try to take a video off of the actual unit and put it onto the video and include it with this. The problem with that is with YouTube and with the conversion uh, editing of the video to include the video from this camera and that camera, sometimes it becomes a discrepancy. You don't get to see exactly the quality. And because you're only looking at it on a small screen, it actually looks quite good because that's how you would use it if you owned this camera. You're not using it like on a large TV or on a large tablet or a large computer screen with our bigger monitors and things like that. And that kind of throws off what you're actually seeing so, kind of shows up hopefully pretty good for you as far as the uh, quality. Oh, it also has free cloud storage up to a certain degree. Of course, if you wanted to, I suppose you could purchase more. But up to a certain degree, um, you get some cloud storage, which is nice that you don't have to worry about the actual, you know, subscription and cost and everything. Um, but sorry. So I just can't see these things well enough. My vision is, I have no vision in this eye, so um, you have to forgive me. But you can see that there's quite a bit of options within the app. Again, I'm not here to show you how the app works and all the different things. Um, I'm not sure if it works. I don't want it to be recording and bouncing that echo again. So the, the video is quite sharp, very clear, and you do get alert, alerts for the motion detection. That actually works quite well. That's why you might have saw me look over to the side because I kept seeing the phone light up. It was because I kept getting these notifications. So let me grab the camera again. So let me go ahead and shut this off. So there's a little QR code here on this side, but the way this adds is by sound, so it's gonna make this really annoying sound on your phone, and it's gonna connect, and you'll see a, a blue and a yellow indicator light on the bottom down here. The blue light um, comes on and the yellow light's flashing, and it's trying to connect and everything. So, but, uh, you know, other than that, you basically just have your little micro SD card that you slide in there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little item. Again, it does have night vision capabilities. Unfortunately, these lights are automatic, so they're kind of problematic when it comes to turning off, but it works pretty decent. Um, night vision is never great that I, the way I've found. Um, so overall though, I'd say it's pretty, uh, pretty cool item and it works pretty well. As I gave you a quick little, hopefully you can see that with a demonstration of the live video, but it's very sharp and very clear. So if you were to try to identify someone, um, I guess you could use it for that. But this is probably more useful in the sense of a nanny cam where you actually can, you know, already know who's gonna be in the place which you're recording. Um, 
And again, if you want audio, you're going to have to enable that because of the laws and things. Um, they don't allow for shipping um, items to the U.S. that have audio enabled now, I believe is the way that law works. And so what you have to do is just download the file. I can provide that information for you below so that you can do it. It has a step-by-step. Um, so it's, it's actually quite simple, but the audio, as you heard, it's sort of an echo, but it's actually quite clear and does pretty good. When it's in close proximity, they're going to get a little bit of feedback, so it wasn't perfect. Um, yeah, obviously, you'll want to take this little piece off. The box that it comes in is actually a very sturdy box, and they do have like a discount card uh, taped to the inside, and it does have this foam surround, so it shouldn't be damaged. This thing has a 4,000 milliamp battery, so it's not heavy, but it does have a decent weight, and it does have a pretty nice quality. This piece here doesn't move. Again, you're not supposed to take that off, so don't do that. But um, other than that, I mean, there's not a whole lot else to say about this. It works really, really well as far as the quality, though, for the image that you're getting, which is good. And again, you can zoom in, and, you know, in and out just by pinching and zooming, so that's pretty cool. Um, overall, I can't think of anything else I really wanted to say about this. Uh, see, the night vision is a nice feature. You can't, that I know of, that I saw, turn it off and on. It's more of an automatic type thing. So I guess that's, you know, kind of a good or bad depending upon how you look at it. But six months of battery life is what they're rating this at with the motion detection. Um, the free cloud storage. Uh, that is, I think, like 20 clips. I don't really remember it saying anything about the specific size, but I didn't get into that because I don't really care about the cloud storage myself. If you want to check into that more, you can. Um, sorry, I'm not going to give you that information. I just don't care about that as much with the micro SD card being there. And that's it. Um, other than that, like I said, you can use the app, control it, do the things you need to do. But hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect from this. I'll leave a link below the video. You can read some other details and maybe some of the other reviews about it. But it works fine. The video is quite sharp. The audio is quite clear. Better than I expected, to be honest with you. But this is a little more expensive than some of the other spy cameras I've taken a look at. So I you know, kind of expected it to be a little bit nicer. Um, but you never know. So anyway, that is how that works, that is what is included, and again, there'll be some links below for your reference for more information and how to enable the audio in case you run into problems with that, okay? Thanks.